If you're looking for an easy and budget-friendly way to go off-grid, the Bluetti AC200P is a great option. It works well as a daily solar system, but it's important to have realistic expectations. It's not a magical device. You'll need more than just plugging in a solar panel. I've been using the AC200P for 14 months while living off the grid, and it's been reliable with just a few minor issues. It does have a learning curve, but it's much simpler than setting up a DIY solar system or a big residential unit. One thing that annoyed me at first was finding out it only provides 1,500 watts instead of the 2,000 watts advertised. But once I learned to use it efficiently, it wasn't a big deal. For short-term uses, like weekend trips, in a vehicle, or on a job site, it's an excellent tool. One important tip. If the unit runs out of charge, you need to wait until it reaches 3-4% to before turning it back on. I was frustrated until I figured that out. If you're looking for a reliable and versatile power source, the EcoFlow Delta 1300 Portable Power Station is a fantastic option. With a substantial 1260WH capacity, it's more than capable of powering your essential devices and appliances no matter where you are. Its compact and lightweight design makes it perfect for outdoor activities like camping or tailgating, and it's also great for emergencies. One of the coolest features of the Delta 1300 is that it's compatible with solar panels. This means you can charge it using solar power, which is a great way to reduce your carbon footprint, though you'll need to buy the solar panels separately. The unit offers a variety of ports, including AC outlets and USB ports, plus a quick charge option for your phones and laptops. The build quality is impressive. It's durable and built to withstand rough use. The LED display is bright and easy to read, and operating the unit is a breeze thanks to its straightforward control panel. It even has a built-in flashlight and can jumpstart your car if needed. Overall, the EcoFlow Delta 1300 Portable Power Station is a top-notch product that delivers excellent value. Whether you're an avid camper, a tailgater, or just need a reliable backup power source, this is a great choice. I highly recommend it. After hearing my son's recommendation, I decided to invest in the Goal Zero Yeti 1500X for my home backup needs. I was initially considering a natural gas generator, but the cost and installation seemed excessive, especially since I didn't need a permanent setup. Living in New Jersey, where power outages from hurricanes and snowstorms are frequent, having a portable power source is a smart choice. It allows me to power through outages and even assist neighbors by simply driving or walking over. Previously, I used a gasoline generator, which was cumbersome and noisy. It required frequent fuel refills and was heavy to move. Additionally, it emitted fumes and needed to be used outdoors with an extension cord running through an open door, which let in unwanted cold air during winter. It was far from ideal. I'm still learning about the various ports and considering the home integration kit for more functionality. However, the Goal Zero Yeti 1500X has proven to be a great alternative to a gas generator. Its value and performance have exceeded my expectations, and I highly recommend giving this product a look. This Jackery Explorer 1000 is fantastic for camping. It's beautifully built and surprisingly lightweight. I can easily lift it myself. We've used it to recharge our devices, run a small fan, and even power medical CPAP machines. If I had to do it again, I'd go for a Jackery with more wattage to handle a small heater and two solar panels. But honestly, this one has been great and meets most of our needs. It really gives you peace of mind in different situations. We recently took a long road trip to a memorial and drove through deserts with temperatures hitting 118 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not great with heat, so we brought the Jackery and a small fan just in case we had car trouble. It was a real comfort for safety. Charging with one solar panel did take a good eight hours or more, depending on the weather and wind. We had to adjust the panel a lot because of the wind or move it throughout the day to get the best sunlight, but that's to be expected. If I were to buy again, I'd choose a model with more wattage and two solar panels for faster charging. I'd definitely buy it again. <laughs>